I met a gypsy. And I kind of had a problem with that series. Uh, I fucking love Kyle Kelly. That dude's one of the best dudes. But that he made this series and it was like these guys talking about like the industry did this and the industry did that and the indi- da, 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 and this happened and I've, I've only ever done it. It's like, okay, well, at what point should the industry be responsible for the personal failings of people that tried to, to make it in the sport? You know what I mean? And it's like, uh, 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 what's the responsibility there? Because if you've been sold a dream and you've worked for that dream forever and then that dream didn't come true, it's like whose fault actually is that? I would say that there's probably more of a cultural problem of like people really buying into that dream so much with maybe like unfounded confidence or... You know what I mean? Like that, like some some form of, well, something wasn't quite right there, uh, in terms of, you know, maybe it just wasn't sort of justified. And I've seen that a lot with these guys that, yeah. You know, there's examples of like I've been at Millville, right? When like the day after the race, and there's a bunch of guys on factory rides there. Like we're talking about factory dudes, Jeremy and Alex Martin were fucking psychopathic animals the day after a national. They did this 90-minute cycle on mountain bikes around the track and then through the mountains of Millville. And then they went and did two 30-minute motos in the heat. And the other dudes that were on factory rides did three-quarters of fuck all. One went over the handlebars on the bo- on the mountain bike and came home complaining. The other one just pulled off. The other other dudes didn't do the full motos. And it was like, they're the same cunts that are complaining that the industry is not fair and that they don't have this and that they don't have that. And I'm like, fuck, boys. You didn't do the same work as the guys that you're complaining about. Like, do- the- these guys did yeah. a lot and they're not they're not complaining about it. So it's like, it is a bit of a conversation between the haves and the have-nots, but it's like there's circumstances that are out of your control in a motorcycle and, and the injury thing is super real. But at the same time, it's like I fucking risk death and injury every time I just go and ride for fucking $60 at my local track. You know, so it's like I think that there's there's a cultural problem and there's, there's a cultural problem around the expectations. And granted, if someone's like selling this dream that's not really, uh, that's not really there, then maybe we should look at that guy and be like, hey, dude, you kind of need to tell both sides of the, of the story. But in terms of like the industry being responsible for the fallout, like I personally don't know and if I see it like that. Jason here let me respectfully interrupt you um i don't think that it's the industry and everyone it, it this isn't a, a socialism problem where it's like oh they sold that i couldn't make a bunch of money so now it's all it's uh, that's that's not where I'm, I'm trying to go like you just said that there's a different side to it. And I'm just trying to express the different side of it where I tried really hard and there's yeah. 99% of other guys that try really, really hard. Do they expect to make a living at it and everything? I'm not saying I expected to make a living at it. I tried my, my ass off to try to do that. And I don't blame the industry for my shortcomings because it was, it was mm. my own fault. I am just trying to shed light on that. Is it really worth it? Is it really mm. worth giving you just going head first into something that can literally just leave you broken and in shambles and addicted to painkillers and, and maybe even death? Mm. And granted, maybe I'm just a biased motherfucker that doesn't understand because I never, my whole racing experience was just let down, let down, let down, let down with injury after injury after injury. Mm. And in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't mean shit. Like life is going to go on, you know, racing mm. motorcycles is, I feel people have such a narrow viewpoint. Mm. Like you're, you're in the zone. I've got more to, 
I, I learned a lot from racing motorcycles as far as how to dig and how to stay motivated and mm -hmm. how not to go do some of the stuff that other kids were my age. Like I owe a lot to the sport and I'm mm -hmm. not in no way, shape or form trying to blame the sport for anything. I'm just trying to educate people on it could go the bad realities, yeah. and here's an example of, of, of things that go bad. Because if you look on social media right now, what do you see? You see some dude that is telling you, hey, I got a six pack and I'm all because I'm drinking muscle milk. You know, there's no whatsoever. It's instant gratification. The girl over there is like, oh, I didn't, don't even do, I do air squats and my ass looks this big. Yeah. They're not telling you that it's filled with a, a pillow in her butt. And it's just, we're being misled by just lies, essentially, with when it comes to social media. And you look at like, as a little kid, I go pick up a, a Kevin Wyndham action figure and I just see this dude and vice versa with, with everything in, in life. You know, you just see that you want to have that and, mm. but you don't see what could not come of that. And I, again, I'm, I'm, I'm digressing and with you no, saying, okay. um, those guys that right after a national, right after a national that those guys were, were, uh, doing on their mountain bikes were just murdering the mountain bikes training and everything if i was their trainer i'd be like guys there's another race the next weekend why are you working so hard doing this this is a rest day well, what are you guys doing here you they know and, fuck, and they to win. answer about those <laughs> other you know like true Jeremy, true true, true Jeremy martin the, the, he don't give a fuck he just goes out there and and gets it done you know like and that's the thing is like the those psychos are the ones that rise to the top like ricky carmichael fucking psycho jeremy, uh, yep. jeremy mcgrath psycho james stewart psycho like there's a they're unfortunately like there just is this factor of like if you want to be an exceptional person you've just got to do exceptional shit you know and, and the guys that have got to the top they're just some exceptional motherfuckers that just went above and beyond and if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.